hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be watching. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dizo, and you are watching the Shades and Souls channel. Today is going to be my second episode of Hoopers on Runners, and today we have the Nike Pegasus 36. I think this is the right time to get a review of the 36 because the 37s are coming and my order is just literally coming it was supposed to arrive last saturday but uh delayed shipping because of the whole covid shit but then again this is a must watch video because if you are in the market for a running shoe and you're not looking to spend top dollar these are going to be on sale on nike so hence a good time for this review right outsole check out that tread pattern i just literally finished running on this shoe i don't even know what that is but let's get the other pair there you go the tread pattern tread pattern is really good man it doesn't matter if it's a wet surface or not um the only surfaces i've ran on these are concrete or asphalt whatever they use on the road but i've also ran in these when it just finished raining so wet surfaces or not, this is good. Um, I had no issues with it, nothing like that. Uh, the midsole in these is um, what I am kind of impressed of. And the reason why I said kind of is because this is not my tutor size. That's an eight. So that's a half down from my tutor size. And I will explain why that's a big factor in the cushion department or the midsole. As a hooper, we're familiar with Kushlon, right? This is not, this is still soft visually. And it may be because I went down half a size that to me, this is not enough cushion. Maybe if I did get my tutor size, it would have been enough. But, but still, when I do this, even compared to my Kyrie 4, as I can remember, my Kyrie 4 having cushion on, that Kyrie 4 is softer than this one. Okay, this is me comparing it to a basketball shoe. So it's either they made a different compound cushion foam on the Pegasus, or they made a different cushion foam on that Kyrie 4. But whatever it is, this feels a little bit harder. It's still soft visually, but on foot, on foot, as far as I can remember, my Kyrie 4s were softer. Um, but also, this one has a full length zoom air. That means zoom air bag right there, all the way to the heel. So, four foot to the heel. And if I would have gotten the right size, that would have been perfect. I think there is, since I went down half a size, there is too much compression with no space for it to expand. That's my that's my take on it on why it doesn't feel it didn't feel like it should as a zoom air i could still i i could feel the zoom air in there i just don't feel the compression that i needed i don't know if that makes sense to you guys but to me it does when i'm explaining it because i've felt zoom air the way it should feel but that said everybody else get your true to size to this one and i am pretty damn sure um, you will get that feeling that I'm talking about. For Nike's running shoes, for those of you um, who are not familiar with the pointed heel that they're doing, I kind of explained this with the Zoom Fly 3, where it's actually to kind of help mitigate or stabilize yourself because not everybody's the same. Not everybody is a four foot striker or not everybody lands on their forefoot when they're running. But to those that do land on their heel, not everybody who lands on their heel is perfectly middle. So each time, those people that don't land on their heel perfectly, let's say they, they, they land like this or they land like this, this helps your foot guide towards being at that right angle for you to land on that middle portion. And then helps you transition to go move forward okay that's how it was explained to me by a runner so I am going with that because it does make sense and I have felt it 
um, I have felt it happening during my runs. The upper is 360 mesh. I'm just calling it 360. That's my own term. That's because everything is mesh. Okay. Compared to the Zoom Fly 3s, this has a stiffer heel counter. The Zoom Fly 3s didn't even feel like it had a, a uh, heel counter. And that, see this, see this motion right here um, on the heel collar. As it was explained, the reason why most running shoes of Nike now are having that is to prevent chafing on the Achilles portion because it used to be where heel collars are like this or just straight and it would rub off the Achilles tendon and that's irritation for no reason basically so I didn't feel nothing you know it, it, it never bothered me before those those collars that I was talking to you about but to hear the explanation on why they did this portion makes perfect sense because not everybody's the same but at least they catered to those people that do get bothered uh, with those heel collars that are just straight or or going inside so the way they did this so there is a sculpting right here but then the heel collar is pointing towards uh, the opposite side which is a good thing now I've never had a Pegasus before but I have heard that they have uh, slimmed down the tongue for this one and I have no issues with the tongue. I love that they are still using the fly wire on this. I've always loved fly wire. I know it's mixing uh, mixed feelings to some hoopers and maybe to, to you runners as well um, about fly wire. But me, I've always loved fly wire and the way it cinch up um, when you do cinch it up because it does feel like it's supporting your midfoot. But at the same time, it's not pulling on the mesh. So it's pulling the strings or the supportive um, supportive system down here without pulling the mesh itself. As you can see, see that? Like there's a cable inside that mesh. See? I'm moving that cable. So that's the only thing that's pulling when you cinch the, the laces up, but not the mesh itself. The mesh itself is very breathable right there. Yep. This is the insole that it comes with. I don't even know how 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 much how many miles I've used the shoe already, but if you guys have followed me on Instagram, you guys know I have been running on these for quite some time now. There you go. And like I said, I went down half a size for this. I do not suggest doing that. Go get your true to size. And uh this is a little feature that I, I didn't expect. Like in the medial side, they have a swoosh in there, which is a nice touch. But yeah, although I went down half a size for the 36, it still gave me a good run. It's a good daily runner. It would have been better if I did go down, uh, go to my true to size. The only reason why I went down half a size because that was the only size available to me and I love this colorway the Ekiden colorway so that's why I had to go with it and because of my experience with the zoom fly threes I thought that um, I could go down half a size but I was wrong so you know I'm only human I make mistakes but at least I let I made mistakes and you guys don't have to make it so go through the size this is a good ass shoe it's a good ass running shoe coming from a hooper i don't i don't do fast runs i do medium runs to keep myself on pace and just ready for everyday activities and so that when i get back on the court i am also ready uh, medium pace running consistent running and some sprints here and there that's all i do for my running and the pegasus 36 was good enough my 37s are coming and I'll also make a video out of that. But if you guys are looking for a good, cheap, great shoe, these are on sale on Nike. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. It's your boy Diesel signing off. Peace out.